acceleration. guys welcome back it's 2024 it's january it's freezing cold in the uk but you know what fuck it i'm going out for a ride i was getting a bit frustrated just watching the bike in the garage not doing anything not going out and you know what i'm gonna get another year older soon and that means another year closer to death so you might as well fucking get out and enjoy what you can just as that i'm not 40 mile an hour comfort zone so hopefully we'll just have a little quick chit chat about 2024 the plans what i'm going to do bikes this that and the other and we'll just take it from there so uh hopefully you get to see some nice scenery at the same time so let's go the national speed limit bosh First thing I've got to get done on this bike on the 950 is an MOT which is a UK safety inspection you've got to do it every year after the bike has become three years old from new which I've got this in 21 it's 2024 now I've got to get it done now um, because of that uh, my rear tyre on these Pirelli MT60 RS is pretty much done um, it's done a it's, well I've used it for about a good year now done that off-road on it uh, done about 3,000 miles I even did that road trip to Assen and back so the, the center of the tire is pretty much fucked so I need the new tires so I have bought a pair of Avons now I hear you say who who the fuck are they don't they do makeup nope they do also tires probably not the same company but yeah I am an Avon lover I have a hard-on for Avon I always use their tires road tires sports tires slick tires so I have bought a pair of 3D Super Sports from my company that I go to all the time, Tire Tech Trading, I'll leave a link there. And um, them boys have sorted me out a pair of 3D Super Sport, which are like a soft carcass, hot, you know, good warm weather. I wouldn't say like a Rosso 4 type equivalent, but you know, the profile's the same. 200 quid for a pair of tires in 2024, brand new. 120 180 profile 200 sheets i couldn't fucking believe that considering the price of tires has been like three four hundred pounds it's like nuts i got mate i'm having a pair of them so i'll get them fitted and what i'll do is i'm probably going to go back to the gold rims my gucci oz gold rs wheels uh, the gas wheels i did try and sell them over christmas i think but i didn't fucking that's a nice blue lake and so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll keep them now and I'm going to put them back on the bike. I've seen all those Malaysian boys rocking with those Oz wheels on their bike. So you know what, we've got to give them some competition over here in Europe. Because uh, I don't see many of us hyper boys running these wheels. So right, I'll be representing putting the new tyres on the gold wheels, gold wheels back on the bike. Uh, so hopefully that should be some more stuff to do on this thing. Um, I still want to get that fucking 14 tooth calibration thing done on the bike still need to do that at the dealer and apart from that I want to do some riding I want to do some more riding on this I want to do some more touring I want to hit Europe and stuff I want to do that system pass and that triangle of all the roads around there in Austria France Switzerland whatever it is We've got a, a friend Olivier or Oliver or however you want to call him <laughs> sorry mate who's obviously sponsored the handguard sent me them free because after my crash thank you for that so he's obviously offered up to give me a little tour around those roads he's done it level time so i thought you know what why not i might as well go and check him out have a little road trip down there there's also ferry who's the panagali guy who are in a little fun round on assen he said he's happy to give me a little guided tour of the nurburgring he's the nurburgring master guru he's ridden it he's crashed on it He's done lots of stuff on his YouTube channel, uh, Cunning Stunts, so I'll leave a link in his description, go and check him out. So I want to go meet him, ride over to Germany, meet him there, get him to uh, be my guide. I'll probably take this. He's also got a 701, 
husky which sort of leads me on to the next thing what we're going to do is the the new bike the 698 hypermotor super mono so that's ordered i should be getting that next month come on ducati Oxford. Dorian, sort it out, bro. Come on, I want to get on it. I need to be the first, or well, one of the first. I need to be doing these reviews on the 698. So hopefully you'll be getting that, uh, and then it'll be doing upgrades on that, really. But I've had a few, I've had a few words with some manufacturers, and they're uh, everyone saying they're going to be a bit slow to the market with parts for this, for that bike, uh, and it's going to be mainly like crash protection, CNC stuff, bar ends. You know, I might change my brakes. I might put some style lemurs on, not sure. I might do uh, other stuff on it. Oh, we'll probably be on the lookout for some wire cross spoke wheels because I think, just think they look cool and they sort of suit the supermoto vibe. And uh, I've already been in touch with BHP UK who obviously do wonders for this bike. And I'm gonna do some work with them, hopefully uh, on the remap and the flashing side. And because they've sort of stepped and ventured into exhaust and exhaust manufacturing, they might knock one up from the 698. So watch this space. That might be happening on that as well. So uh, stay tuned to the channel, people. Keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep supporting all the other guys. I've noticed that there's been a lot more uh, hypermotor channel challenging hypermotor challenge channels i can't fucking say it it's been a lot more hypermotor channels um glad you guys are all getting out there let's learn from one another keep fucking putting content out there i'm not the only one don't listen to all the shit that i say get different opinions of different people make informed choices that's what we're doing it here for that's what we're here for okay these are great bikes stick with them give them a fucking chance get them set up get them tuned up Get them sorted out for you, for you personally, how you ride in the country that you are. Get them flashed. Do some Gucci bits on it, if it's carbon or if it's anything else or titanium. Just get it done, boys and girls, all right? Stick with these bikes, give them a chance. You don't need anything else. I'm just a twat, I've just ordered the 698, so, you know, I'm just gonna have two bikes. Oh, I'm gonna get some grief from my missus. She's already given me grief. There's no fucking space. Where are you gonna put it? How are you gonna pay for it? You can only ride one bike at a time, two insurances two MOT, two taxis, blah, 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 fuck off. <laughs> I don't think she subscribes to my channel, so you know what, I think I'm looking. But yeah, I think it's a, uh, I think hopefully it'll be a good year. I really want it to be a, uh, I want it to be a year where we help people. I want it to be, I don't want it to all about, about me and this fucking channel and shit like that. I just want to be able to help the people who have supported the channel and everyone else in the hype community let's do something man let's get some shit together oh oh and based on that I, uh, I just remembered i've also booked my first track day which is the ducati track day which is in april so reach out to your local ducati dealers they may be able to you know they normally sort out loads of garages between themselves so go and have a word with them sort it out get there i'm going to the one in april i'll be taking the 698 and the 950 i will be doing some crazy antics on both maybe some lap time analysis which is faster which is not how much faster is the 950 than the 698 i'll be testing obviously the rosso four tires that you get on a 698 versus the super sports that i'm going to be fitting to this yes different engines but tire tire wear etc etc grip feel confidence uh, oh look we're already here that's quick i might as well uh, have my morning tea morning coffee warm myself up at the little biker cafe so short and sweet people short and sweet um let's uh have a good 2024 right let's get a coffee warm the fuck up